Hey, welcome back everyone. Um, today we're going to talk about the Case K9 filter system. Uh, I'm going to structure it like I did my last review. We're going to go out into the field. We're going to use the filters, talk a little bit about them, see how well they work. And uh, after that, we're going to come back to the studio and uh, we'll talk about the pros and cons and what my overall feeling of the system was. Um, forgive the length of the video. It is a little long, but I think it's worth watching. And uh, I think you'll you'll find that you agree with me uh, on this system 100%. So um, welcome back again and uh, let's watch the videos. Good morning, everyone. I've decided to come out to uh, the Chesapeake Bay area uh, to a location I haven't been to in a long time. We're gonna see what we can come up with. You know, it's been about a year since I was here, I think. Um, I've decided to come out and try to uh, see if I can see it with new eyes, fresh eyes. Because um, I, I strongly believe in revisiting places. <clears throat> So, let's get on out there and we'll uh, see what we can find. Should be a fun day. Oh, good morning, everyone. I, uh, I finally got here. Uh, well, here is different from where I originally intended. Um, I'm at Mayo Beach Park now, which I've never really shot at. And I don't think I'm supposed to actually be in here, but the gate was open and we're gonna hope for the best. But um, the reason I didn't go to the other place is it's closed now at sunrise so I couldn't even get into it there's no place to park I couldn't even walk in like I used to do they've redone everything so so I figured I'd try to find something new and lucked upon this so hopefully this is a good spot and I can come back here if uh, I get permission to do so so we'll see well much colder than I was expecting um, so I'm set up I just took some real cool shots of uh, of these piers out here. I don't know if you can see these behind me, but um, they look fantastic. And I did about a 10 second exposure, so it blurred out the water and made the piers look like they had, they were sitting in fog, which is always kind of a neat effect. It's very likely that we, uh, yeah, don't see uh, much of a, much of a sunrise, but we'll see. I and mean, we could get, some of those clouds are really, really high, so we could get a bunch of really great color on those. So let's take a look at my composition real quick. As you see here, I basically have all of these piers, all these piers sticking up out of the water. And this is actually a really dark exposure. Let me go to one that was lighter. There we go, that's the one. So you see all the piers sticking up out of the water. I've arranged them in a way that felt, you know, pleasing to me and worked as a composition for what I was going for, uh, which was sort of the loneliness and the almost the feeling of that they're like sentinels standing eternal watch. So I thought that was kind of a neat idea. So of course I said I was coming out here to uh, test a filter system today, and so um, I really actually have grown to love this filter system. I did buy it myself. Nobody's talked to me. I haven't been in contact with anyone. I bought this, not connected, zero way. Anyway, um, I'm an, I've been a Nissi V system user for years, and. Uh, I saw that Case came out with a filter system that had magnetic filters that work alongside the square filter holder. Now that to me, that's awesome. Um, I don't know about the last version of this, but this version is the one I bought. It's the new one, it's the K9. Uh, reason I went with the K9 was it doesn't vignette at all on the 14 millimeter Nikon, the 14 to 30, which even the Nisi does, so it's pretty good about that. But those magnetic filters, the real reason I, I thought this was gonna be a really great system. And since they're 90 millimeters, they can go on to an 82 millimeter 
lens and not vignette, which is really important. So as you see here, I've got a three-stop. Uh, I'm not using case filters because I, I don't own any grads from case. This is a Hada Red Diamond three-stop medium-edge graduated neutral density filter. That's a mouthful, yes, but an amazing filter. Uh, the Hada filters, their grad filters are great. I'm going to buy a case filter as my next one just to try it, and I'll let you know what I think of that. So um, what I'm going to do here is show, show you how this basically works. We'll start back at the beginning because the sky's doing nothing, and I figure I'll just show you how I'm going to get it set up in the possible eventuality that uh, we get the uh, sky lighting up. So I'm sure you've seen plenty of reviews on, on these case filters and they're magnetic. Let's see if we can get a reflection. Can't. Anyway, um, these magnetic filters. So this is a six stop ND, which of course I can, you can't really see much through, but six stop ND. Now the way uh, this system works is you can use it even without this filter holder. This is the magnetic ring that goes on the lens. And you buy one of these for each of your lenses instead of using step-up filters, which I love the idea of. And there's a rotating ring. So if you've seen how these lens, uh, these filters work uh, in the smaller sizes, um, they have a rotating magnetic ring and then you stick the filter right on. So you can do this with this on or off, but I'm gonna show it to you how it goes on. Okay, so now that's in place and you can rotate it. So if you're using a circular polarizer, it rotates on that ring. And then this literally goes on right around it. Now you're ready to hold your graduated filter. Um, and if you need to turn, I'm gonna rotate this so you can see it. To turn the CPL, when you have a CPL on here, there's this little wheel that grabs hold of that magnetic ring and it just rotates it, which is just awesome. So easy. So even when you have filter stacked up in front you don't have any issue with um, being able to turn your circular polarizer so now we'll take our Hada filter or any new graduated filter so you see this is a three-stop medium edge <clears throat> my favorite graduated filter to use so why would we use these filters that's what today's story is about right why do we use them and we're gonna review this filter holder so the reason I use them is because I can bring the sky down before it ever goes into the camera. Um, some argue that's taking data away. I can reverse it. It's not hard to reverse. And it pulls bright, bright, bright areas in line with darker areas so that you don't ever run the chance of losing highlights or shadows. Now, of course, in super ultra extreme conditions, I've still had to exposure stack, which I don't like doing. But for the most part, that never happens. It's a very rare thing. Um, so I can literally put this over the sky and it'll bring my brightness of the water up because I want my water to look a little more light gray-ish, blue grayish. Um, and I want my sky to not burn out, which as it gets brighter out here is a likelihood, believe it or not. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this down. And we've put our six stop ND on there. And let's see, let's fire it up. We can adjust our edge of our filter down so it covers the water. And with the six stop ND, and this will also drag the clouds out a little bit so they're much smoother, which is desirable in this kind of situation. So now I'm up at uh, 25 seconds. 30 really so as it gets brighter out here it won't be quite so long this is uh this is why case i case i really really want you to make a three stop nd to go in this thing i know i can use the circular polarizer but that's literally only like a stop and a half almost two stops not enough i need a three stop nd or even a four stop four stops are perfect but not everybody makes them all right so we're looking at 30 seconds f14 uh, so if I want to cut it back and go to the sharpest part of the lens, I'll set it to f11. And then I can take it down to 20 seconds to get the exposure I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and 
take a shot, and you'll see what you get. All right, so this doesn't look insanely interesting, but it's really quite beautiful, and I think I got a really nice shot out of this. I've been shooting a couple of different ones, and I haven't changed the composition at all. I'm a big fan of, like, staying with it sometimes um, and just keep working the exact same composition over and over. And then once that feels like it's done with, I look for other compositions. I think I've nailed this one. <clears throat> I don't know which shot I'm gonna like. I don't usually do this, but I'll probably show you a couple of different ones because I think two or three of them I think are kind of interesting. And I might even, uh, I when I first looked at this, I thought this might be a black and white morning because I sort of set it up like a black and white shot and I think the sky would have, uh, will, will have lent itself to being a black and white photograph. So. I'm gonna play around with that on one of them that I shot too. All right, so I framed up another composition. Uh, I'm pretty enamored with it, but uh, not really quite sure if it's going to be everyone's taste. But if you look here, these are all um, little pools held in by, I forget what these things are called, but they're designed to stop erosion. Um, and it's just little rock islands. And then the sand that has uh, I guess there was sand up to them originally, but now the water's come in, so it's made this interesting rounded pattern. So I think, I think the fact that I emphasized the simplicity, so that you, those two boxes and then a little clump of trees at the end are the only real main things you see, different lines of water, and then uh, that little bit of yellow in the sky, because I thought at first I might do it as a black and white, but. I think, I think I like it better as a color with that little bit of muted, sort of almost pastel yellow. And, uh, you know, the leading line runs down and you see Osprey box down, Osprey box then into the woods. I, I think it works in a, on multiple levels. And though it's simple, it's kind of um, intriguing. cut it off here unless I find something else really interesting. I am going to go scout and see if I can get onto the Smithsonian Research Refuge property and uh, go check out a place called uh, Hog Island. But uh, if I don't take you with me to do that, thank you for coming out again. I know this has been a very short outdoors video. You can have an office piece though so we can talk about the or studio piece so we can talk about the uh, the filter system. But if in fact 
I see you again today. Cool. If not, thanks for coming out again. I really appreciate you guys. You know that. And look, if you like my content, do me a favor and, and hit the thumbs up. And, uh, and, and while you're at it, maybe subscribe. Because subscribing is one of the primary things that keeps my channel going. And uh, yeah, hit that notifi notification bell so that uh, you get notified when I put out a video. Anyway, I hope this was useful to you and you enjoyed it. Look at this beautiful place. This is fantastic out here. I absolutely love it. Um, caution tape is because the beach is washing out right there, so they're trying to keep people off it. No dead bodies or anything. But, yeah, it's really nice. So, I will, uh, I will catch you out here next time. And uh, until then, keep shooting. And uh, don't forget to flex the photo muscle. And uh, thanks again. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Well, that was fun. I don't think I shot enough B-roll, but that's fre frequently the case. Um, I get so caught up in what I'm doing, and then I don't get the B-roll, and then I basically have me talking, there's a photograph. Me talking, there's a photograph. Not enough interesting activity and events going on around it. I'm getting better at this, though. All right, so uh, we're back here uh, mainly because I want to talk to you and review this case K9 filter system. Um, we're going to, of course, just like last time I got it up here, I'll be looking over here to uh, read my pros and cons. All right, um, I've been using it now for a few months, and I am super happy with it. So let's start with the pros. Uh, number one is the inclusion of the magnetic filter system. Um, here, here you see it's mounted on the Nikon 14 to 30, which it does not vignette on, which is the most important part of this, because at 14 millimeters, I don't want vignetting. Um, this is your aftermarket uh, case brand, not aftermarket brand, but uh, uh, purchased separately. You can buy a three pack of these little hole, uh, covers, and they just go right on the on the magnetic ring, and. Uh, as you saw out there, here I'll just pull out the polarizer so you can see that because that's what actually the po I'll pull out the polarizer so you can see that that's what actually comes in the kit. And once you have it on there, you can turn that. It sits right on the magnetic ring, and that magnetic ring turns. So that's really handy. Um, so that system comes with it, and as you see, that's the. Uh, is that the polarizer I have it on on there? I guess it is. Or is that the six stop? Actually, maybe the six stop. Anyway, so we'll take a ten stop and throw it on top of there. Now we have sixteen stops, all stacked together, which is just awesome. Actually, no, that was the polarizer. So maybe the polarizer is three stop. It looks very dark. Polarizer might be three stops. Uh, hmm. I just remember what I said in my video. I want them to come out with a three stop, but this is pretty dark. I wonder how many stops is. I'll test that later and I'll come back and tell you. But anyway, so polarizer can go on. Uh, six stop or 10 stop, there's a 10 stop. You can go on right on top of it and you can use both. And you don't have to have a filter holder to make that work. And you have these magnetic filters, they pop right off. And of course, as you saw in the video, this is the square filter holder, it goes right on. And then you just tighten that down and you can even lock it by turning that. Um, and then of course, since that's a polarizer, let's see, can we even see the effect of that? You turn it this way and it literally turns the polarizer for you, which is exactly what you want and easy to do. All right, uh, compact nature of it is my second love. Look how small this is. Mixed with this mount, and you buy one of these for every lens. I mean, you can use step-up rings to make it uh, to make it adapt, but these are twenty-four dollars a piece. Completely worth it, um, and I have one for every one of my lenses. And then this just mounts on that, so you can just go between lenses, and you don't have to remove your mount. Now, the reason I'm so adamant about that is Nisi 
This is the system I had before. Oh, and by the way, look at the size difference. The Nisi is huge. It weighs a lot more. It's just a much bigger system. Um, but the problem I have with the Nisi, or Nisi, however you say it, is you have this ring here, and you don't buy one of these for every lens. I'm not even sure you can buy them separately. Maybe you can, but this mounts, and this also has a thing that turns the polarizer, uh, but you have to screw this onto every lens you use instead of having separate mounts for each lens. And even if you did buy a bunch of these, they're so much larger than these. You see that? Much, much larger. That it's just not convenient. So uh, that's the main reason I stepped away from Nisi and went to the K9. Um, now, uh, the build. The build quality is top notch. Everything's tight. Um, though this is thin and small, I've dropped this and it didn't didn't even ding, didn't bend, didn't do anything. So it's pretty it's pretty well put together. Everything um, this screw you can't unscrew it all the way. It stops has stops so you can't lose the screw. All of this is solid aluminum. I mean everything is very well done. The powder coating on it is really good. Um, and it even has a gasket here for keeping the light out on if you are using some darker NDs um, in the holder. Um, so build is excellent. Ease of use. Um, now this is kind of one of those things. Are all of these easy to use? No. And so that's why I bring this up as one of, one of my points. Um, uh, this one, you basically have a magnetic ring that makes it easy enough to take your polarizer off, right? In the Nisi, and the newer ones are a little better, but it's still a similar problem. You have to hold that sp that spin ring on the back here, and actually unscrew your polarizer. All in the in the process, you're, you're likely going to drop it. Um, the newer ones have less throw, but you still have to screw them a little bit to get them in. And yes, it's a good polarizer, but it's it's a pain. It's just a pain. And um, I never did like that about this, because if you wanted to throw a polarizer on, it was just such a pain to put it on. And on the 5, which is what this is, I think they fixed this on the 6, uh, the polarizer sat so close to your filter that um, it would rub the filter. And you don't want that. So, ease of use. This is a much easier system to use. Uh, you know... Sure, you have to have a little bit of a fingernail. I, I usually use my thumb nail to pop this up. It's not so bad. You get you get the hang of it. But it's a little easier to use than the other systems. Um, also, why I, I like this better than the Lee system, the Lee system has a polarizer that sits in front, so you can get internal reflections back onto the polarizer, which who do, who wants that? I don't understand why Lee stuck this polarizer way out here past your filters so that you can just have a reflection as a place to reflect the tighter you can put things together the better off you are all right so so the oh right convenience of these 90 millimeter filters i don't have to i don't have to carry this i can just carry this and i and my three stop and my 10 or my six stop and my 10 stop ND and my circular polarizer and that's all I have to carry so I can carry those in a small filter case and if I don't want to have graduated filters with me I don't even need to have this and like I said since it's 90 millimeters instead of 82 like the case system that doesn't go to the K9 is the 82 millimeter system vignettes terrible on this 14 millimeter lens but the 90 millimeter one does not so that that is a real plus for me so the convenience of having the 90 millimeter filters is, is absolutely key. Um, and the last one, and probably the most important, is image quality. These filters don't have any appreciable effect at all on what you're shooting. Uh, and there's no blurring, there's no dulling, there's no color cast. I've found that they're very, very accurate, and they do a great job at what they're intended to do. And these are intended to just 
stop the light down so that you can have a wider aperture or a longer shutter speed. Uh, graduated NDs are designed to do that to half the image. Um, so you can take bright areas like sky down to match the level of the lower areas. Um, I don't know about their graduated filter, but these filters, very, very, very high quality. And this, this uh, circular polarizer is really top notch. I've found that uh, it does a better job of um, reflection, rejection, if you will, than the Nisi did. And I thought this was one of the best polarizers I'd ever used. So I do think the case is even better than that. All right, let's talk about some cons. Ah, uh, cons. I don't like cons, but um, there are some cons on everything. So, um, let's see. One con, unfortunately, is the same as all filter holders. Uh, if you don't get this perfectly on here, you, you could think it's attached like that, but in the end, that can fall right off. Uh, you can get it on and actually mount a filter in there. If you See how crooked that is? See how it's a little crooked on there? But sometimes in the field, you won't notice that. You tighten this down, and you think it's on there, but then you put a filter in, and it falls off. So you have to be... And it's not just this case. It's all of them. Every single brand, you have to make sure they are lined up and sitting properly on the mounting ring before you tighten down your screw or let your lock in. Um, and that's, you know, that's something you got to pay very close attention to. All right. That is the one nit, but nobody's come up with a better answer to this. So I don't have, there's no answer to this. It's a problem for all of these filter holders, the Nisi, the, the Lee, all of them. Um, some of them have double locks, but if you don't get it on there straight to begin with and you lock it down, it's still going to fall off. So, uh, let's see. No three-stop ND on the 90 millimeter magnetic side. I don't understand. Okay, so maybe maybe this is a little more than two stops. I don't know what the actual rate is. I'll check it, like I said. But um, what if I don't want a polarizer and I still want three stops? We need a three-stop filter case. We need a three-stop filter in the 90 millimeter size. And we need a UV filter in the 90 millimeter size because Maybe I don't want to take my rings off, but I want to have UV filters on my lenses um, that hang on this magnetic system. Um, here's the 24 to 120, by the way, that I've been reviewing. Uh, if I could just have a UV filter on here, I wouldn't ever have to take the ring off. I could leave this magnetic ring on and just have my UV filter when I'm not shooting with filters. And then when I'm ready to shoot with with filters, I can pop the UV off and go straight to the other kinds of filters, which it's, that would be really ideal. As it sits now, when I need to just take this out and I know I'm not gonna shoot any filters, I remove this, put a UV filter on, etc. And I don't wanna have to do that, so. Um, what I didn't just show you, by the way, this is a plus. It's got this great little magnetic lens hood or a lens hood, magnetic uh, lens cap. Now, it's not perfect, but it at least, if it's raining out when you're shooting or something like that, you can throw it on there. No problems. Awesome. Or if you don't want to spend the money on that, because that does cost a little more money, you can get this three pack of these guys and, and they work reasonably well. You just got to line them up right when you're putting them on, on the lens. They work pretty well, so. All right, I think we might actually have just gotten through this. Uh, overall, I give the Case K9 system in the world of uh, filter holders, square filter holders, slash uh, round filter holders, that's the thing I love about it the most, I give it five stars, man. This is just like, this is, somebody should have come up with this a long time ago. And I think this was literally a play on this because Nisi was the first one to throw a polarizer uh, on the, on the holder itself, on the holder ring, see? So Nisi said, well, well, we'll make a screw on polarizer that just goes on that, so you can just leave that on your lens and still have a polarizer. And and when uh, Case came out with the Wolverine system, they took it a step further and made it so that it was all magnetic. 
and that's just exactly exactly what I've been waiting for especially in the 90 millimeter size for this exact lens the 14 to 30 you can now shoot with a filter system with zero vignetting have your circular polarizers have your NDs and not have to use a square holder for those. And then if you need to use a square holder for your grads, this lightweight, beautiful little device here goes right on and you're, and you're all set. So the thing is when you put this on, since there's gearing, you rotate it like this to make sure it's on and then you tighten it down. That way you're sure that this is connected and it's not gonna fall off. All right, I think I've run my mouth enough. Uh, I hope this has been helpful to you, um, and I hope you enjoy my content. If you find my content worthy, please, please hit the thumbs up button. And, uh, and if you like my content, please subscribe. Subscribing is what keeps this channel alive, and uh, don't forget the notification bell, because that'll let you know when I've put out a video. I can be hit or miss on that sometimes, so not a bad thing to have that let you know. Oh, hey, one other thing. Look at that. You can throw that little magnetic lens cap right on there, even while this is on. So if it's snowing or raining, and you don't want water on your filter, or you're just waiting, you can throw that on. And it's so independent that you can just take this off and the filter cover stays there, the lens cap stays there. So it's just a great system. Anyway, thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, I love the comments. You guys have just been dropping such great comments lately, and I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. I hope this was helpful to you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.